If a generator of biomedical waste has the waste transported away from the generating facility for treatment and disposal, then all packages containing biomedical waste must be appropriately labeled. The label provides a tracking mechanism for each package. The label must be securely attached or permanently printed on each bag, sharps container, and outer container and must be clearly legible and easily readable. Exterior bags and sharps containers must show the generator's name and address. Outer transport containers must show the transporter's name, address, registration number, and 24-hour telephone number. It's important to remember that all exterior bags, outer containers, and sharps containers will be labeled at the generating facility prior to transport away from the facility. The international biological hazard symbol in either red, orange, or black with a contrasting background color must appear on the outside of bags, containers, and sharps containers. The symbol needs to have one of the following phrases with it. Biomedical waste, biohazardous waste, biohazard, infectious waste, or infectious substance. The presence of the symbol and phrase point out the potential danger to anyone who comes into contact with the contents. <laughs> Packages of biomedical waste must remain intact during transfer within the generating facility. Transporting the containers within the facility needs to be done in a way that is not going to compromise the package integrity. In other words, cause the bag to rip or split. If this red bag of biomedical waste had ruptured while being dropped by this environmental services employee, then it would have to be repackaged prior to transfer within the facility or transport away from the facility. What happens if the drop bag in the indoor storage room splits and spills its contents, or you spill biomedical waste such as this vial of blood? If in the packaging, transfer, or transport of biomedical waste, any surface is contaminated with spilled or leaked biomedical waste, all such surfaces shall be decontaminated as a part of the cleaning process. Notice the decontaminating agent and waste are placed in a red bag which is tied and disposed of properly. Every generator of biomedical waste is required to maintain as a part of their biomedical waste operating plan a spill contingency plan for just such an occurrence. It must identify the types of liquids that you're going to use to clean up a spill as well as how you're going to contain the materials that were used to clean up the spill. Many generators ask, where am I supposed to keep the substance used to disinfect a spill? And generally, a generator will keep at least bleach somewhere in the facility that they would use. Now, whether this disinfectant is kept on a housekeeping cart or in a nurse's station or in a storage closet, that's up to the, the generator because it's not routinely used. It's only used if there is a spill of biomedical waste. In this case, the generator keeps the bleach with a spill kit, which contains cleanup utensils, absorbent materials, and other items useful in spill containment and cleanup. In the event that a generator contracts to have biomedical waste transported away from the generating facility for treatment, the generator must sign such a contract with a biomedical waste transporter who is registered with the Florida Department of Health. As you can see here, the transporter is making certain the biomedical waste containers are appropriately sealed, and then he is providing a pickup manifest showing the volume of biomedical waste picked up from the generator, which happens to be a blood bank. A generator may transport less than 25 pounds of their own biomedical waste in their own transport vehicle on any single occasion without being registered. <laughs> biomedical waste shall be treated by steam, incineration, or an alternative process approved by the Florida Department of Health. Alternative processes such as chemical, dry heat, or microwave shredding may be used by the generator provided the manufacturer has submitted a written request to the state health officer which includes microbiological evidence the proposed process provides a satisfactory level of disinfection against the organisms listed in the department's protocol. <laughs>